All right, somebody wanted to see what the waveform looked like under full load, so let's do a quick test and see what happens. Bring you in here. I'll read out what the wattage is as we progress here. I don't think I can get everything in. One point two kilowatts. Two point four kilowatts. Just starting to see a little distortion there. Oh no, that's not kilowatts, that's volts. 3.9, four kilowatts. Five kilowatts. Five point six kilowatts. Five point seven kilowatts. Five point eight kilowatts. Five point nine kilowatts. 6 kilowatts 6.1 kilowatts 6 kilowatts. Still at 6.1 kilowatts Going down 6.05 kilowatts. Wonder how long it's going to take to get to that over temp shutdown. We're down to 6.01 kilowatts. Six kilowatts. Hanging right at six kilowatts. 5.99, six kilowatts. At 130 amps out of the battery according to the inverter and the battery is saying 113 amps still about 6 kilowatts
See what the smart shot says. Still holding six kilowatts. Smart shot says also 130 amps on the battery. Power 6,633 watts. Thirty-eight minutes to empty, and the battery says forty-six minutes to empty. Converter says we're down to two hundred thirty-seven volts. Hundred thirty amps, six kilowatts. Let's see if there's a temperature in here. Six point zero three V. KVA, 97% load, 60 hertz, 237 volts. There is no temperature readout on the inverter. And it's getting hot in here. I think I'll start up my big fan. Six point oh two kilowatts. Twelve and a half minutes in so far. Okay, we got the 07 fault over temperature. And she just started back up. All right, let's take a look at what happened here. At idle, the waveform's actually pretty clean. It's got a nice smooth arc and just a little bump at the zero crossing where the IGBTs hand off. That's totally normal for this kind of H bridge setup. Now, when I Bring the load up to around 3 kilowatts. You can see the top of the sign start to flatten a little. Nothing dramatic, just the inverter getting close to the limit of its DC bus voltage. The frequency holds right around 60 hertz, and the shape still looks real good. Now watch what happens once we pass about 4 kilowatts. From that point all the way up to full load, the waveform shape basically stays the same. That tells me that the inverter's reached its modulation ceiling. It can't make the peaks any taller because the DC bus is out of headroom. So as I increase the load, it just increases the current and heat. But the waveform distortion doesn't get much worse, really. The control loop stays stable and predictable, which is a very good thing. Once I bring it up to the full 6 kilowatts, it actually holds that load for almost 10 minutes. That surprised me a little. For a small, inexpensive inverter like this, I would have expected a quicker shutdown. But it held steady, and the waveform stayed consistent. There were no spikes or instability.
Right before the shutdown, you can see a little jitter or wobble at the top of the sine wave. And you see the peak voltage sag a little bit. That's the inverter telling us that it has nothing left to give. The silicone's hot and the bus voltage is, is depressed from the heavy current draw. The IGBTs are losing efficiency as the heat builds up. And at that point, it can't fully shape the crest. So the top softens and jitters as it tries to hang on. This is exactly what you'd expect when a budget inverter hits both its thermal and electrical limits at the same time. The important thing is that it stayed controlled the whole way. There were no oscillations, no runaways, and no spikes on the AC output. It hit the over temperature limit and shut down cleanly, which is exactly what it should do. And just to be clear, this kind of distortion is no problem at all for miners. The S19 uses an active PFC power supply that would immediately rectify the AC back into DC and it regulates it internally. As long as the inverter stays near 60 Hertz and it doesn't throw any sharp transients, the miner will run just fine. A slightly flattened crest or a little bit of jitter near the shutdown isn't something the miner will even notice. So here's my takeaway. Below about four kilowatts, you get a very clean sine wave. From four to six kilowatts, the inverter's out of voltage headroom, but it stays stable. And at a full six kilowatts, it held for roughly 10 minutes before thermal shutdown, which honestly is impressive for a $300 inverter. All right, well, there you go. I think we got about 15 minutes out of it. I don't know exactly what happened to the waveform right before it shut off, but we'll check it out in the, uh, in the recording. If you guys want to see anything else, let me know in the comments. And don't forget to leave a comment. Really helps the algorithm. And don't forget about the Signature Solar Black Friday sale. That's coming up real soon. We're going to have the coupon code and a link down in the description. All right. Until next time, I appreciate you guys. Adios.